Hey everyone, today we have to discuss a surprising decision by the Lakers, the dismissal of Phil Handy. If you follow the NBA, you know that Handy is one of the best player development coaches out there. This dismissal left many fans puzzled, myself included. I'll analyze what this means for the Lakers' future, especially with the Clippers' elimination shaking up the coaching landscape. And of course, let's dive into off-season rumors, with names like Trey Young and Donovan Mitchell being rumored for the team. So let's get right to it and understand if the Lakers made a big mistake letting Handy go. First, let's talk about Phil Handy's dismissal. For those who don't know, Handy was one of the most respected player development coaches in the league. He helped transform players like Rui Hachimura and Austin Reeves, who always confirmed having a good relationship with Handy, stating that he was always recognized on the team for improving the game of young prospects. Let's focus a bit more on Rui Hachimura's development. When Hachimura joined the Lakers, he was a talented player, but still inconsistent, especially in three-point shooting. His three-point conversion average was around 29%, a figure below expectations. That's where Phil Handy came in. Handy worked intensively with Hachimura, adjusting his shooting motion and correcting his positioning. The result? Hachimura increased his three-point shooting percentage to 44% last season. That's a significant improvement and a testament to Handy's ability as a development coach. Furthermore, Hachimura not only improved in three-point shooting, but also showed renewed confidence in his game. Handy helped Hachimura find his rhythm, both defensively and offensively, making him a more complete and valuable player for the Lakers. This evolution is clear evidence of how effective Handy was in his role. So why did the Lakers decide to dismiss such a talented guy? It seems they're seeking a complete overhaul. When a new coach takes over, it's common for them to want to bring in their own coaching staff. But personally, I think firing Handy was a mistake. He was not only an excellent development coach, but also had a great relationship with key players like LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Moreover, Handy's dismissal may send the wrong message to the young players the Lakers are trying to develop. Handy was a positive influence in the locker room, and his departure may affect the players' morale. It will be interesting to see if this decision will impact the Lakers' performance next season. Now, speaking of coaches, who do the Lakers have in mind to take over the role? Let's talk about the new possible options. With Darvin Ham out, the big question is, who will be the next Lakers coach? The most talked about name right now is Tyron Lue, who is currently with the Clippers. Lou is an experienced coach with a championship title and a solid track record. He already has a relationship with LeBron James, which could be a plus. However, the Clippers seem determined to keep Lou, offering him a contract extension. Another option is Mike Budenholzer, who was recently fired by the Milwaukee Bucks. Budenholzer has an impressive resume, including a championship with the Bucks. However, his dismissal was motivated by similar issues to those ham faced, such as poor time management and questionable rotations. And then we have names like JJ Redick, who would be a bolder choice, but also more future oriented. Redick is young and inexperienced as a coach, but he has extensive knowledge of the game and could be a long term bet. However, Handy's dismissal indicates that the Lakers are seeking a change in direction. If they choose a younger coach, it suggests they are thinking about the future, post LeBron and Davis. On the other hand, if they choose a more experienced coach, it indicates they are focused on winning now while LeBron is still playing at a high level. But as the Lakers search for a new coach, the Clippers elimination may open up new possibilities. Let's talk about the Clippers elimination and how it might affect the Lakers. With the Clippers out of the playoffs, Tyron Lue's future has become uncertain. He's a coach that many Lakers fans would like to see in charge, but the situation is complicated. The Clippers are willing to extend his contract, but if Lou decides he wants out, that could open up an opportunity for the Lakers. Furthermore, the Clippers elimination shows that they may be ready to restructure the team. If they decide to get rid of players like Paul George or Leonard, that could influence the coaching and player market. For example, Paul George has expressed interest in playing for the Lakers in the past, so this could be an opportunity for the Lakers to strengthen their team. 
Another factor to consider is that the Clippers' elimination showed that they have deep issues, especially when it comes to injuries. Leonard, in particular, has struggled to stay healthy, raising questions about his future with the team. If the Clippers decide to change direction, this could impact the coaching and player landscape, which in turn could affect the Lakers' plans. Now that we've discussed the impact of the Clippers' elimination, let's talk about the off-season rumors circulating around the Lakers. Which stars might they be eyeing? Two names have been heavily discussed, Trey Young and Donovan Mitchell. Both are talented players who could help improve the team, but the choice between them may depend on various factors. Trey Young is a talented point guard known for his scoring abilities and precise passing. He is young and has potential to grow, but he is also known to be somewhat inconsistent. If the Lakers are looking for a player who can be a long-term star, Young could be a good choice. However, his playing style may not mesh well with LeBron and Davis, who need a more efficient and consistent player. On the other hand, Donovan Mitchell is a player who has already shown he can carry a team. He is a natural scorer with solid defensive skills. Mitchell may be a safer choice, especially if the Lakers are focused on winning now. He has already proven his worth in the playoffs, and his playing style could complement LeBron and Davis well. Of course, there are also other offseason rumors involving the Lakers, but Young and Mitchell are the two most likely names. The choice between them may depend on how the Lakers want to structure their team, whether focusing on the present or the future. So, the NBA playoffs aren't even over yet, and the Lakers are already showing that they are in pursuit of improvements, which makes it clear that they want to compete for the title next year. Just think, they got eliminated and the next week we are already discussing all of this. We talked about Phil Handy's dismissal and how it could impact the development of the Lakers' young players, especially Rui Hachimura, who greatly improved his three-point shooting thanks to Handy's work. We also discussed who could be the next coach with names like Tyron Lue, Mike Budenholzer and JJ Redick and how the Clippers' elimination could influence the Lakers' plans. Additionally, we discussed off-season rumors and reinforcement plans, such as the possible arrival of Trey Young or Donovan Mitchell. But in my opinion, the Lakers are at a crossroads. They need a coach who can lead the team now, but they also must think about the future, especially considering the development of the young players. Handy's dismissal may be a sign of change, but we still don't know if it will be for better or worse. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Handy's dismissal? Who do you think should be the next Lakers coach? And who would you like to see on the team next season? Leave your opinions in the comments. I want to know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more analyses like this. Until next time!